The oldest and strongest emotion of mankind is fear. And the oldest and strongest kind of fear is fear of the unknown. The world is indeed comic, but the joke is on mankind. The most merciful thing in the world, I think, is the inability of the human mind to correlate all its contents. The sciences, each straining in its own direction, have hitherto harmed us little. But some day the piecing together of dissociated knowledge will open up such terrifying vistas of reality, and of our frightful position therein that we shall either go mad from the revelation or flee from the deadly light into the peace and safety of a new dark age. I have seen the dark universe yawning, where the black planets roll without aim, where they roll in their horror unheeded, without knowledge or luster or name. The most merciful thing in the world, I think, is the inability of the human mind to correlate all its contents. We live on a placid island of ignorance in the midst of black seas of infinity, and it was not meant that we should voyage far. I am Providence. We live on a placid island of ignorance in the midst of black seas of infinity, and it was not meant that we should voyage far. Theosophists have guessed at the awesome grandeur of the cosmic cycle wherein our world and human race form transient incidents. They have hinted at strange survivals in terms which would freeze the blood if not masked by a bland optimism. The most merciful thing in the world, I think, is the inability of the human mind to correlate all its contents. The world is indeed comic, but the joke is on mankind. The only way to escape the abyss is to look at it, gauge it, sound it out and descend into it. I couldn't live a week without a private library indeed. I'd part with all my furniture and squat and sleep on the floor before I'd let go of the 1500 or so books I possess. The time would be easy to know, for then mankind would have become as the great old ones. Free and wild and beyond good and evil, with laws and morals thrown aside and all men shouting and killing and reveling in joy. Then the liberated old ones would teach them new ways to shout and kill and revel and enjoy themselves, and all the earth would flame with a holocaust of ecstasy and freedom. I never ask a man what his business is, for it never interests me. What I ask him about are his thoughts and dreams. From even the greatest of horrors, irony is seldom absent. The true weird tale has something more than a secret murder, bloody bones, or a sheeted form clanking chains. An atmosphere of breathless and unexplainable dread of outer, unknown forces must be present. And there must be a hint, expressed with a seriousness and portentousness becoming its subject, of that most terrible conception of the human brain a malign and particular suspension or defeat of those fixed laws of nature which are our only safeguard against the assaults of chaos and the demons of unplumbed space. The most merciful thing in the world, I think, is the inability of the human mind to correlate all its contents. In its controversial power, its capacity for metaphor and intense imagery, its challenge to the boundaries of the rational, the weird functions as a means of confronting the contingency of human experience. 
ocean is more ancient than the mountains, and freighted with 